everyone, my name is Popus, and welcome back to another video. And if you can't already tell by the toy sprite behind me, we're doing another mod showcase. <laughs> and today, I decided to do the mod showcase on the Tinker's Construct mod. Mm. Damn, that took a while to set up. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Let me know if there's anything else I can improve on in the comments. <laughs> and let's begin on the showcase. So, first things first, when you spawn in your world, you're gonna get this book called Materials and You, Volume 1. You open it up, you'll first get the achievement, Learning to Tinker. As well as basically a lot, a lot of basic information on some basic crafting recipes and such. And armor. This thing does come with an armor set. It is pretty cool, honestly. So let's head in. <sighs> Alright, first things first. You're gonna need the basics, which are over here in this room. So, the way I said I did this was making all these crafting stations, which is basically you throw a crafting table into your little, uh, you know, cra crafting grid thingy here. You know what I mean. And you and you get this. The nice thing about it, whatever items you place in it, they'll stay in it even if you exit out. So anyways, this is the tool station. Your main your main friend and for making all different tools and tinkers. As well as the modifications, which are plenty of. I'm not gonna go over all of them because there's way too many. Some of my most favorite ones are things like auto repair and auto smelt and uh, extra durability. So I might show you those to you guys, to you guys later. Anyways, so this is the tool station. What are your main things that you're gonna have to do? And this is how you make all of your tier 1 uh, Tinkers, Tinkers items. Um, you pick, general pickaxe, shovels, a matic, which is basically a shovel and axe combined. A frying pan! <laughs> One of my most favorite weapons of all. I truly love whacking them off of it. <laughs> and the sounds. <laughs> uh, daggers. And all, all the descriptions are over here. Uh, some of them have special abilities, like the dagger. Which is basically a small uh, sword that you can actually throw by right clicking. So in order to make this, you just need to throw a crafting table and a blank pattern. Which a blank pattern is made with two oak and two sticks. You get a blank pattern. Four of them actually. But you throw a crafting table underneath the blank pattern, you got yourself a tool station. Next up, you have the heart builder. Now what you need to do is you just put, oh sorry, that's for the pattern of chest, which is where you put all of your patterns in. You do that, make chest, put a black pattern over it, you guys have a pattern chest. To make this, because you're going to need this in order to make it some parts, and you're going to need different stencils to do this, and I'll show you guys how to do those in a moment. But in order to make the part builder, which will give you like an iron or whatever, well no not iron, but like wood and flint and stuff, you put the stencil here, and the item you want to use here, and it'll make it for you over here. But in order to make the stencil tip part builder, you need to put both wood and a blank pattern here. Pretty easy. And then one of the final basic ones is the stencil table itself. Put the stencils in here, choose whatever one you need, grab them from here, and then you got to select your staple. Stay. Ah, stencils. Sorry. <laughs> Can't speak right now. Anyways. Make this wood plank, blank pattern, got self sensitive tape. Now, best thing to do, keep all these things together. I've kind of split them out just so that way I can put the showcase. But if you're going to do this in your world, be sure to keep all these variables together because you need to go, go between each of them very, very quickly if you want to make something quick. Then, also, there's a tier 2 version of the tool station, which is the tool of forge. To make it, you take your station. Four blocks of any metal, iron, gold, diamond, and, or even some of the modded metals, and three seared bricks. I'll show you guys how to make those too. And you got yourself a tool forge, which will make you allow you to make many more types of weapons: crossbows, bolts, battle axes, hammers. Those are pretty cool. Levers, shur no shurikens, well, only in the other one, but you can, you get the point. You can make you can make more weapons and higher grade weapons as well. So, next up, 
we will go to the smelter V. This is one of your main components in the mod. You want to get this ASAP. Uh, so, let me go into. Oops. Go here for a moment. So, as I said, you get this. And then, as you actually continue making the different items, you'll get these books as well. However, if you lose one, all you gotta do, you take a bit of blank pattern, a paper, and get materials in you. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, it's craft guide. Just look it up, it's really easy to find. Anyways, you just grab that, and then you throw it into the crafting table in order to make the next tier, and so on. And each of these books basically tells you different uh, parts of the mod. Like this one will tell you how to find the different parts for the uh, weapons, as well as the materials and all the uh, modifications. This one tells you how to do the smeltery, as well as the different types of alloys that are in this. It is basically a one-on-one -on -one smeltery. This part, uh, ah, right, it just describes different kinds of weapons and how they work. And this is just a diary, uh, more for, uh, dimension, I guess, I don't know. Oh, also, I forgot. These things, these are just a few of the ore berries. But basically, uh, in caves and such, you find these things called ore berry bushes. Don't step on them because they, they actually are sharp and they hurt you. These are just a few examples. Iron, where most of them you have to put in dark place, by the way. In a dark place like a cave or just make a huge cover, blocks very little light, the most little light. You can plant these things and make your own iron, copper, and so on. The only exception is the essence berry. Place it somewhere light instead, and you will actually be able to grow experience. Pretty helpful if you have a mod that needs a lot of experience. Anyways, big thing you need to know. To work this smeltery, you're going to need a lot of seared bricks, which are made from grout. One way to make it is a bit of clay, sand, and gravel. You get two grout. Or, put four sand, four gravel, and a clay block, you get eight. Now the way it works, basically you throw in any ore in there, and it'll get sucked in. Then what you need to do, you need to fill up this part with lava. Once you got that, your smeltery is good to go. And basically, once you make that gravel, by the way, you just throw it into a furnace, you get the bricks, make bricks, <coughs> and the smelty book um, shows all the different recipes for the rest of it. Like the controller, the tank, and how the basic setup looks. But basically, you make a basin so you can make uh, blocks of, the, of your ores. You make this so that way you can actually pour everything in, like your casts. Um, you use the drain to get out all the stuff, and this is to actually pull them out. And the nice thing about this is actually any ores you put in, you get double, in case you didn't know. Ugh, man. Yeah, I'm rough. <clears throat> Anyhow, next things to know about is the, uh, the castings. So once you make a stencil, if you go back into game of one, uh, let's see here. Uh, here we go. Thing. So yeah, once you use these, you need to make a stone version of it. Once you do that, you place it on here. Like that. You, 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 you can base, technically place any item. Like even the sonic screwdriver. But what you need is, uh, like bricks and such. And then you need to make, uh, aluminum bronze or gold put in here. And then uh, pour it over the uh, item in order to make a cast. That's the only way you can use your metals in the mod. Now then, let's get on something a little more interesting that I really like. This is the part where you can actually become and look like an actual tinkerer, at least in my opinion. So first things first, the traveler's gloves, made from a bunch of leather just like this. You put it on by put, by put it going into the diamond chest plate slot. Don't worry about this one. This is Galactic Craft. I'll probably cover that in another showcase. 
Anyways, you put it here, there, yeah, you got some gloves. Next up, your belt. Six leather, two aluminum ingots, and a chest. When you do that and put it on, you basically get double a hot bar. So, if you just watch this down there, when I press my key, it will go just up here because it goes into the belt. You basically have two hot bars now. Next up, knapsack. Six leather, two iron top parts, and a gold ingot. Put that on here. When you re enter, you get your own knapsack, which basically doubles your inventory space. Really nice. Now for the actual armor. Goggles. Six, three leather, two glass, two gold. You get some goggles. And as you can see, you can actually zoom in with them. By, by pressing whatever button it is that you have on your controls. Then, your, leather, your vest. Six leather, two wool, and aluminum ingot. Allows you to travel faster in water. Wings. Yes, you can actually craft wings. Four bronze, two gold, and an ender pearl. It doesn't allow you to fly, unfortunately, but it does allow you to jump higher. And then finally, your boots. Six leather, two string, and aluminum, and there you go. You got yourself some boots. And now, there you go. I look like a tinker, don't I? <laughs> Anyways, so, as I said, most of these things are able to uh, be uh, modified in Tinker's Construct using different modifiers. As you can see in here, near the end, it shows the different modifiers, like this one. Um, we're taking a nitrogen potion. It has to be the base potion, the normal three minutes. Do not extend it, do not double it. The strength of it, just leave it alone. And also, if you're doing, if you're going to make this in creative mode, you have to do this from scratch. It, <coughs> it doesn't work any other way. But that, but night vision potion, flint steel, golden carrot, you get night vision, which is pretty cool. And then perfect dodge. Uh, you throw all these together, it you make it, it makes yourself harder to hit. Now this one I don't exactly recommend because I've been testing it. It doesn't exactly work against mobs because you kind of need the chest plate on and it doesn't it make the chest plate invisible. So yeah, I mean it's up to you, but I don't recommend using this one. Featherfall. This is one. This is one I always try and get onto my wings. You take a slime block. And you get these from the slime islands that spawn in the world. Six feathers and an pearl. And you got you got yourself some feather fall. So you basically fall like a chicken. Water walk, another one of my favorites. Put two lily pads with your um, uh, boots, and you can literally walk on water. It's find really cool. Lead boots does the exact opposite, makes you sink. Slimy soles, in case you can't like get the feather fall for some reason, this will basically uh, I believe it acts like the uh, slime blocks in 1.8. The, the speed. Now, I don't always see um, a difference, but I always put it on just in case. Put a bunch of, put a hundred redstone on this uh, at maximum, and you get speedier with your uh, mining. So the auto repair. This ball of moss, you get from nine moss cobble, and uh, you can put it on any tool, any of these armor pieces, and it'll auto repair. But like over time, it'll actually repair itself to its full durability. And then the double jump, put it on the wings or the boots or both, and it's basically just like this. And you can jump in here, which I always find really cool. Now to the next part, all the way over here on the other side of the tortoise. Oh, man. So there are five different ores I've been able to find. There might be more. There might be less. Not less. There might be more, I don't know though. But I'm pretty sure these are all the ores that I added with mod. So, this is copper, if I remember correctly. No, tin, sorry. So, the tin ore can be mined with iron or greater. And this is a Tinker's iron pickaxe that we haven't figured that out already. Next up is the. Uh, this one's copper, right? There we go. This is copper. Again, you can mine it with iron or better. 
and you need these in order to make different alloys which can help with your journey. Tin, again, iron. Pretty easy. Most of these, most of the overworld ores are actually able to be mined with iron better. And even better, these actually spawn as gravel, too. So you can even mine it out as gravel, which I find pretty nice. Then, next thing, you're going to need to make a lumite, which is a uh, alloy. You, you, you'll, you can find it in the smeltery book. But once you go to the nether, you're going to be finding these weird ores, like this yellow one and that blue one there. You're going to need an alumite pickaxe in order to mine these. Other, otherwise, you're pretty much screwed over. And then for the... And you actually need these also in order to make manillion, which is one of the strongest metals in the mod. If you do that, you're pretty much set for a good while. But basically, the way that alloys work, you put a certain amount of each uh, material into the smeltery, and it will automatically make a uh, alloy out of it. I don't have them all memorized, but just take my word for it. And you can also look in the smeltery book for all the different recipes. Also, word of caution. If you, for some reason, step into this while there is liquid in it, you're going to get hurt. Unless you get out of it half fast enough. But if you stand in it long enough, you get hurt and blood will get in it. And that's very annoying to get rid of. Either you have to pour it out onto this thing and break it, or else you got to get enough of it. I think 100 mill millibuckets or something? I don't remember. And you throw it on here and you get a few seconds of uh, absorption. <sighs> We're almost done with the mod. It, trust me, this thing is huge and I'm not even covering all of it. A lot of you're you guys are going to have to figure out yourselves. Because I can't cover it all. <laughs> I'm going to give him one before I get killed or something. Now then, here's also a nice feature with this. Villages will actually also spawn with smell trees and villagers that will trade Tinker's items. Well, and as you can see, this is um, gold, golden gravel. So you just mine that up, you get some gold instantly, just from gravel. Just nice. And yeah, uh, so this is a village that I was able to spawn nearby, thankfully. Uh, ignore the guards, another mod. Uh, so this. The villagers will literally spawn with this in their home. So you can steal this and get a huge start on your smelter. Mm. And then these these houses are what house the uh, Tinkers Construct villages. Lag. That's not a Tinkers Construct village, it's a normal village. As, as you can see, they have all the different tables, they have a chest, they have a chest full of these different items. Which like bronze, copper, and such. Next nice thing I always do, take all the metal of hearts and throw them into your smeltery because you can actually get some ingots out of these things. Which can help for later. In the parts chest, you uh, basically get a bunch of parts. Uh, stencils. Next thing about these, you actually just break it and you get all the stencils. Uh, let's see if I can find a villager that is part of this mod. Uh, uh. There he is. So, this is the villager. Yeah, he looks a little like a surprise villager, but hey, no kicks. It's like he'll give you different trades for Tinkus items for things like ore berries, which are always very useful, in my opinion. Because once you get a good farm setup, you're set for life on metals and such. But, yeah, that covers most of it. Uh, again, this is not all of Tinker's Construct. There is plenty, plenty more that you can do with this mod. Like making frying pans. In fact, actually, before I end the video, I might as well go ahead and show you guys the uh, a creative mode frying pan I found. Called the Bane of Pigs. There are two super weapons that you can actually find in the creative tab here. One is the Bane of Pigs, which is a pan. The other one is an Infinity Miner, which is a hammer. So, <laughs> this is why I love the pans. Not because it's OP or anything, but because of... Just listen.
Do you hear that little bang? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. <coughs> There's actually an achievement with this, too. And also, of course, the second function. Shift right click this, you place the pan down on the ground. And you can literally use it as a furnace for food. Only food, though. But, yeah, and then also, this poor animal made it to my with a loud bang. But yeah, pretty funny. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this showcase. And if you want more of these, please leave a like. Let me And let me know in the comments section below. Did I just see a sheep? <laughs> ah, stupid sheep. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought I was in the smeltery. Not on it. Anyhow, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Let me know if you want more of it. And, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. See y'all.